A Hendersonville church is having to cancel its Sunday service after getting vandalized by an unknown person. Good evening and welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Kenley Hargett. News 2's Nikki McGee has more on the damage they walked into and the message to the person responsible. We have no idea who or why this happened. Broken glass, TVs ripped off walls, and powder from a fire extinguisher now covers the pews. That's what elders at the Luna Lane Church of Christ discovered when showing up to their house of worship Friday. Our number one goal right now is to get the church back open. This week's Sunday service has been canceled after church elders say a deacon's wife coming to clean discovered the front door open. Danny Parrish, who's been a member at Luna Lane since 1976, says what laid behind those doors still doesn't make sense. If it was a crime, they would have stole something, but they didn't steal anything, they just destroyed it. Uh, for why, I don't know. Members say sometime between Thursday and Friday morning, just about everything not bolted down had been thrown, flipped over, or damaged, with the exception of Bibles in the pews. Hendersonville police are now investigating, but the damage comes as a major shock to the small congregation of roughly 50 people. And I'll tell you that we are a loving church. We don't have a lot to offer, but we do have a lot of love, and love will cover a lot of stuff. Preachers tell me some of the worst damage they had was actually right down here at their fellowship hall. You can still hear the fans going. They say initially when they came downstairs Friday, they found water flooded on the ground as well as glass everywhere. You can still see where there's food splatters on their cabinet. Yet the message they're preaching tonight is forgiveness. What really gets to our heart is that the, this individual or individuals um, obviously have something inside them that's hurting. Church leaders are praying for whoever committed this crime and even say their doors are open to the person who did this. We are convinced that whoever did this didn't, couldn't possibly have known what they were doing because it's such an awful thing. But uh, we, we realize that maybe they need to be punished in some way, but we are a very forgiving group here. As cleanup continues and church members begin to navigate insurance, they hope to reopen their doors in time for next Sunday's service. In Hendersonville, Nikki McGee, News 2.